What up? What are you doing? I am testing and doing a bunch of welding up on this frame back here. What are you up to? So we're kind of taking a look back on this year of making raffle bikes. You were heavily involved in this. Yes. So we are going to go over last year's raffle bikes. Yep. Whose idea was it? Tim's idea, my dad. So he just, I think it was at one of our Monday morning meetings, he just brought up that it was heavy on his heart to try to raise a bunch, as much money as we could for Teen Life. He thought, what better way than to raffle off a bunch of sweet mini bikes? Hey, this is Chris Roby. I'm the CEO of Teen Life, and I'm here at Go Power Sports, uh, checking out the incredible 60th anniversary little rascal that we will be uh, raffling off here very soon. So Teen Life is a nonprofit based in Tarrant County, Texas, that provides support groups for middle school and high school students so that no student will ever feel alone. And it comes from this deep drive of knowing how hard it can be for an adolescent to navigate not only growing up, maybe in a hard place, but having a rough go at it with school in such formative years. We're so proud of this partnership with Go Power Sports over all these many years. Go Power Sports has been a huge partner not with us not only as, as a financial partner but also just getting the word out in the community about what we do. So when you partner with Go Power Sports you are partnering with the community and helping kids from hard places find support. Man, so many great ones that we uh, we put out over the last year, but honestly I think I'm going with number one, man. I think it's a tried and true classic. Just sticking with the uh, the overall uh, race colors. We've got the beautiful chrome frame. Uh, that was kind of the one that sparked all the excitement with everybody. And uh, I think it just we were able to gain a lot of traction from there. And and uh, not everybody likes the chrome bike. What do you mean? <laughs> now why the chrome? So if you look at one and two, they're both modeled after the Christmas special Honda Mini Trail. So that kind of sparked the whole the customization. That's the thing we wanted. Yeah. yeah. Um, these are our custom wheels. We're bringing these in. We actually had the mold made for these wheels. That's how we got our GoPowerSports.com yeah, in there. I, know, I noticed the website on there. That's so cool. A lot of this stuff is made here in the USA. It's pretty sweet. That's great. The frame is here uh, in the Fort Worth area. Mm -hmm. um, some parts are from California, but most parts right here in Texas. Wow. Cool. Yeah, and then what was cool is we got to actually see one at the pull start. I know. That was probably the first one you've seen in person, yeah, right? Definitely yeah. the first one we've yeah. seen in person. And that was clean too. Yeah. He killed restoring that. They did. So number one, well, I remember that we did that. Uh, that was our first raffle and I believe mm -hmm. that was one that made the most money. It's because so. we were definitely able to amp that up with cars and cameras with all of our social media friends. That was it. Pate, that was it. Pate, yeah. All right, guys, it's Mini Bike Mason. I'm with Go Power Sports. We're at the Pate Swap Meet. We are out here fixing to raffle off the 60th anniversary Little Rascal, and not just any Little Rascal, but a chromed out Little Rascal. Check this thing out, guys. I mean, there was not a detail that was spared. I'm telling you, Taylor and the rest of the guys took their time with the fine tooth comb going through this bike chroming out every little nook and cranny and making this thing cool for you. Can't wait. Probably 15 seconds out of the, uh, the Rascal Raffle, the, the all chrome 60th anniversary. Are you guys able to win? Um, Who's asking? Oh yeah, you can. Thank you all the YouTube guys, social media guys for pushing this and thank you guys for buying the tickets. So, and, uh, uh, if you don't know, all proceeds for this do go to Team Life. That's the little rascal right here. Oh, here we are, guys. This is uh, Gary Four Jr. So the big raffle was a paint, and uh, that was, a, I think that's one of the crowd favorites. That's definitely a beautiful, that's one of my okay. favorites. JMB Chrome and then Racing Wheel Repair did all the powder coat. So we threw together a low rider show with Rockwood go-karts. Mm -hmm. So number two is just like number one, but, but a rascal. Essentially the exact same bike. It's the same tires, wheels, pretty much everything. Just the bigger model. Uh, where are we at? What are we doing? What's up everybody? This is Jason over at Go Power Sports. We are at Rockwood go-karts and mini bikes. We are celebrating 
our 60th anniversary today and we are going to be announcing the second out of 10 chrome mini bikes today look at this super clean so stay tuned i believe the last yeah. person to buy a ticket her name was dotty we end up doing the raffle she wins it's dotty we oh see dotty the suspense is killing me oh someone from here won dot tia Ficante. i know you're here oh she we won did. congrats Got her to sit on the mini bike and everyone started chanting, Daddy, Daddy. She was pumped, man. No, she, she was pumped, but uh, we still have this mini bike because she honestly just wanted to give to Teen Life because mm -hmm. it's such a great cause. All right, so number three, which I love to call Capone. It's like a yeah. little gangster. This little black one was definitely my favorite. For sure. That black looks slick. That one was sweet. It was a little gangster. And something about the little rascal, how it's so compact. Yeah. Just, there's like no empty space anywhere. They're clean. So what was different from this one in the first little rascal? Yeah, tires. So the smaller tires, more of a slammed fender, yeah. and then more powder coat. I, f I feel like that bike was a good mix of chrome and black. Yeah. That one turned out sharp. And then number four, you kept the same theme black and chrome we want the rascal we want the leading link on this one yeah really that was the sweet. first time we had one of those powder coated it turned out yeah. really really sharp looking mini biking ain't easy kind of like life the time patience and problem solving that go into finishing or even pushing past goals is tough and to get there Sometimes you'll need a little guidance, support, or a friend. I've been building go-karts and mini bikes since I was a kid, and each project has had its sets of ups and downs. A build goes smoothly until it doesn't. And in a lot of ways, school can be the same way, but the right support, a safe space, and a trusted friend, it'll be that much easier which is why 100% of our raffle proceeds go to support the charity Team Life. The five is probably the no. most unique. I think that's uh, the only off-road, true off-road. Cartel right? off-road. Yeah. Yeah. Cartel off-road. Yeah. My favorite raffle bike is Rascal number five because I think it's the only off-road bike we had. And I love the green and bronze color scheme to it. I love the fact that we took this out to Colorado and Cars and Cameras helped us raffle this off online. Uh, so the scenery was great. The, I think the bike's just the most different out of all the 10. So this off-road bike is definitely my favorite. But it was just a fun bike. I love, what is that, a bronze or a brass? It's bronze, it's like a hunter plate. green. Yeah, that look, they came out sharp. All right, so number six. Do you got a name for this one? Do we call this one uh, Iron Man? What's the inspiration on number six? Well, I think I had been wanting to do one like that for a while, because you see lots of sport bikes and whatnot with a lot of red and gold. And I thought those always look good. The sharp looking bike. The gold, it looks really good on the Go Power wheel. So that one you, Bernie, and Evan traveled that one all the way up to uh, Joe's mini bike reunion? It's thing. Oh my goodness, guys. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. La Crescenta, California. We made it. We drove 20 hours straight through all the way to get here. We're at Joe's Mini Bike Reunion 2022, and it is a great turnout already. So then we move on to seven and eight. You go from red to the blue. This one was way different because we raffled them off together. We sold a ton of tickets at SEMA. Yeah, you guys are out there hawking the crowd. Everyone was down, especially when you say it's for a good cause. A lot of people just had a bunch of cash just to give away, and they said, sure. Yep, we'll give a This is the 2022 SEMA show here in Las Vegas. I'm Kevin Hurston coming to you from Atlanta. Where are we at? What are we doing? First day of SEMA. We got the booth all set up. We got raffle tickets for sale. Our two raffle bikes that we built just specifically for this show turned out killer. And they're getting great reviews from everybody, really. So we're gonna do some walking around today, hopefully. 
show you what the show's all about. But did this person who won, weren't they local? Yeah, weren't they, they in Longview? Winner's here. Yeah. We got these all cleaned up yesterday. They're looking nice. Here. So what's our winner getting? They get the metallic blue little rascal. They get the metallic red rascal. These are both 212 Tillotsons. Governor's out. Has the really nice top plate, smooth throttle. Super nice chrome. This is show chrome. How many tickets did you end up getting? Two. I mean, I've contributed every, you know, all uh, the other ones. I think it's a good cause. I did a little research on that team and that. Great cause. It's like they do a good thing. For yeah. Where are you from? Longview. You plan on riding these things or are these going to be? Yeah. Yeah, plan on riding. Nice. Usually they're just... All right, so purple rain number nine. That one definitely sticks out because that was one of the funnest we had building this bike. Because that purple is beautiful, and then when you got Flacco dressed up as Prince, yes. All right, Flacco, we're doing a recap of uh, our favorite raffle bikes. Well, uh, not to be biased or anything, but uh, everybody know I'm known for one particular bike that be purple rain. All right. And then Flacco, uh, action, rise up. Heard Zane, don't do that. Flacco, go down. And then come up. If I'm gonna have to choose a favorite, come on, man. Purple Rain, all day. We're going around asking everybody what their favorite raffle bike is. What's yours? Uh, my favorite raffle bike, um, it's split between Purple Rain, which I really like. I think that that is such a cool looking bike. Mm -hmm. um, and I really enjoyed filming the stuff for it. We got to mess around with dry ice. Future projects, we need a smoke machine. Yes. Shake it around a little too. I think that. All right. More behind the scenes. We got makeup, hair and makeup. Zane, okay. he's also a wafter. I waft, I do saging. Yeah. I'm great. So, how do we feel about dry ice? Man, we need a smoke machine. We need a yeah, we need a fog machine. <laughs>and the carbon fiber fenders the carbon fiber yeah i felt that was cool that. so we ended up doing that yeah. on this bike we've got the beautiful custom seat from our seat guy he matched the purple almost perfect i don't know how you can get closer without doing custom paint but all this is powder coated metallic purple we've got hydro dip carbon fiber parts that have Good. a clear powder coat over them obviously we're sticking with the chrome frame. It's like I trade more. Yeah. Chrome frame on all the on all the raffle bikes. Uh, and this I think this one's gonna be probably my favorite one. This one's looking incredible. Man. And it ain't even together yet. So explain how they did carbon how they do carbon fiber. It's a hydro dip or powder coat guy. Um, has just a huge tank and it's gotta be the perfect temperature and there's a lot that goes into it, but essentially you have your pattern laying in the water and you just dip the parts in there. So that leads us to our last one, number 10, number Honest Day. My yeah. favorite. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. There's a lot of time in that one. It's a slammed rascal. All custom new brackets, uh, lowered the front end, the rear, like three or four inches. It's sitting pretty low. And then the 10 inch wheels, I mean, that makes it look even lower. Yeah, that definitely sets it off. Is this the most expensive frame that we've had so far? That bike mm -hmm. with all the time and everything? Yeah, I'd say so. Because I remember making that phone call down to uh, Houston Fast Boys and them, their reaction made my reaction even better. So that's 
great to see. Glad that it was somewhat local. Hi. Hello. What's... This is your bike. You won, Mary. You won. That's all yours. This is you now. <laughs> This is awesome. Congratulations, yeah. guys. I'm still texting them. Yeah. We text back and forth. She wrote it, I think, as soon as they opened the crate. They put oil in it, cranked that thing up. And she even came up with uh, Instagram, right? Yeah, we'll throw that right here. Nice. They're loving it. They're riding it. Right. And, you know, it's slammed. It's got the big wheels. So perfect way to finish it out. Yeah. And with all 10 bikes, I think there was a, over a hundred thousand dollars donated yeah. to Team Life. So good job to all you guys. Thank you so much for participating into the raffle. Thank you so much for building all these ten beautiful bikes. Thank you all for pushing it, man. Yeah. I mean, y'all push the heck out of these things. And I know it was a lot because you're already editing and you have a full plate, and then this is thrown on you. Hey, push these over and over and over. Good job on everybody. So good job team love you guys thank you to everybody that bought raffle tickets this was a huge success we built 10 raffle bikes and you guys did awesome without you guys buying tickets and supporting this cause none of it would have happened and we're keeping the whole custom bike theme kind of rolling this year we're looking to do a new youtube series called Taylor Made, where we will be making custom bikes for all sorts of different people across the US. This one is going to a big go-kart race in uh, the Carolinas that's called the Big O Tribute. And we're going to, this is to match our main driver's cart, Preston. So we're gonna surprise him with this bike and see what he thinks.